Detective Jack was on his way home when he spotted a wrecked vehicle in a ditch. He quickly pulled over and ran to the car. He didn't find anyone inside, so he began looking around to see if the driver was lying down somewhere nearby. He called for backup. The first to respond was Officer Clyde, along with his colleague Dan Hill. They began an area search. Eventually, they found someone walking along a road about five miles away from the accident. When they approached him, they discovered he was drunk and visibly injured. When questioned, he admitted that he'd wrecked the car. The vehicle was towed and the 32-year-old male was arrested. Dan Hill was patrolling around the city when he was dispatched to a robbery call at a small grocery store. He responded immediately, arriving only four minutes after receiving the call. The robbers had already left, but the shop owner provided them with video footage showing the gateway vehicle. Nearby units began searching for the car. Suddenly, one of them spotted the suspect vehicle on the highway. Suspect spotted, to engage. Wait, please listen now. Are you looking for a cool mobile game without ads? One State is the game you are looking for. One State is the first ever open world online game with role play mode. This is the first time I've seen something like this on a phone. Hundreds of people on one map and thousands of people can play together at the same time. You can build a career as a policeman and lead a faction or join a gang and lead a criminal lifestyle. Or you can be a hard worker slowly organizing your business and trading with other players. It all depends on you. Also, the game is optimized for different types of devices, so everyone can play comfortably. One State is absolutely free and does not have annoying ads like other games. Download One State from the link in the description now and come to play with me. For the first players, I will leave my promo code as a gift, BEAMNGTV. Can't wait to see you in my company. Dan joined five other officers who were also pursuing the suspects. They set up a roadblock which slowed down the suspects before attempting a pit maneuver. The officers then blocked in the suspect vehicle before arresting everyone inside. Write down a story for this series and top three will win a membership for my channel. Officer Owen was dispatched to a call reporting gunshots being fired in a neighborhood. On his way, he requested backup so he wouldn't be on his own. After arriving at the house in question, they knocked on the door, but nobody answered. That's when they discovered that the door was unlocked. When they entered the home, they found a woman crying and saying that her husband had been shot behind the house. The officers ran to the back of the house to search for the suspect and her husband. Unfortunately, they found the man with a bullet lodged in his back. Shortly after, they located someone walking casually around the block. When they tried to approach him, he fled.
After catching him, they discovered a handgun in his possession. Later investigation would reveal it was the same caliber as the bullet that had struck the victim. The officers arrested the man, but the unfortunate gunshot victim did not survive the attack. Officer Jack was patrolling a quiet neighborhood at night. It was the weekend, and he was expecting a calm night shift as he enjoyed his coffee. Suddenly, he was dispatched to a call of a stolen van that had been spotted by an unmarked unit. Luckily, it wasn't far away. The officers coordinated to block him into an intersection a few miles ahead. The plan was for Officer Jack to block him from the front while the unmarked unit blocked him from behind. When they did, the van driver stopped immediately and made no attempt to escape. As the officers got out of their cars, the suspect hit the gas, and the chase was on. The pursuit continued for a few miles until the driver dove out of the van and let it tumble into the ocean. Before the vehicle hit the water, it exploded violently. The officers immediately caught and arrested the suspect. They still needed to figure out why he'd allowed the van to be destroyed. Further investigation and hours of searching would reveal evidence that another person had been in the van's cargo space. The driver refused to cooperate. After another few hours, the police located a body. Who was the other person in the car? You'll have to watch the next episode to find out. Officer James was enjoying a routine patrol, making several simple traffic stops and citing some drivers for expired registrations. So far, all the drivers had been cooperative. After a couple of quiet hours, he was dispatched to a report of a reckless driver on the highway. He responded immediately to the location and discovered a truck driving the wrong way. Together with another officer, he formed a roadblock to stop traffic. The driver of the truck also stopped. When he tried to back up, they rushed over and pulled him out of the truck. They administered a breathalyzer test and discovered that the man had been driving under the influence. They checked the truck cabin for any open alcohol containers, but what they found instead was a shock. They discovered illegal substances. Fortunately, the driver tested negative for any narcotics. The driver's license was suspended and he was booked into jail. In the last story, police discovered illegal drugs inside the reckless driver's truck. During a police interview, the driver revealed the name of the person who had sold him the drugs. The police began searching for the drug dealer and they located him downtown a few days later. Detective Mark made contact with him, then hatched a plan to infiltrate his organized drug ring. The SWAT team was notified, and they began preparing for a raid. Mark went in posing as a buyer while wearing a hidden camera. When the target was confirmed and Mark had gotten to a safe distance, the police blocked in the drug dealer and made the arrest. Several more suspects involved in the drug ring were also arrested and searched.